No time for an introduction. Let's go ahead and get into it. Today, we're going to be talking about Charlie and Monique Bothwell. Now, before I can talk about them, I actually, I'll talk about their son. This is Charlie Bothwell the fifth. So the dad, Charlie Bothwell the fourth, he and his ex-wife were separated. The son, Charlie Bothwell the fifth, lived with the mom and not the dad. While he was with the mom, he was acting up in school. He was getting into fights. He was just really acting out. I'm guessing being like a preteen, whatever, and they didn't like this. His grades were slipping and all this stuff, so the dad decided that he was going to take him away from his mom. It was no question that he didn't like it. Like, honestly, he liked being with his mom. He had more freedom. His dad is real strict. You know, all that stuff. Okay, now one day in 2012, he disappeared. He was gone. Everybody was looking for him, trying to figure out where this boy done went. Now, I'm not sure how long he was gone, but he eventually was found. And he told everybody that he was kidnapped. Now, when the police found him, you know, they were like, hey, wh where'd you go? What happened? He told them some gray haired dude had abducted him and put him in a tunnel. What does that mean? I don't know. But that's what he told the police. Everybody figured out that it was a lie because, like, dude, you ran away. And he even admitted it. So we can all say that he's a little liar at this point. This created another wedge between him and his dad and his stepmama. He's still telling everybody, I want to go back. I want to go back to my mom. I want to go back to my mom. But Nate was like, no, your grades are bad. And plus, you're starting to get a little chubby. So, no, you ain't going nowhere. It's not me calling him chubby. You see this picture? He's pretty skinny. But let's start to talk about that. So, the family bloodline that he comes from, diabetes and obesity actually runs in the family. And the dad, on top of seeing him, you know, doing bad in school and acting up, now he's seen his son get a little fat. And he did not like this. So the dad looks at the mom and the mom looks at the dad and they're looking at each other like, what are we going to do about this little fat boy? And so they decided to put this man on a workout regimen. But y'all, this workout regimen was insane. So this is supposedly what the workout regimen included. 100 push-ups, 200 sit-ups, 25 arm curls with a 25 pound weight, 1,000 revolutions on the elliptical. And y'all, he was supposed to do this in an hour. An hour. You know how long it takes to do a thousand revolutions on an elliptical? And not only this, he was supposed to do it two times a day. Of course he didn't like this. When he didn't do his stuff, they would like beat him with the CVC pipe. One time in particular, the dad actually made him lay down on like this table, got this CVC pipe, stuck it in his chest and twisted it leaving a permanent scar on this boy's body. But it wasn't just the dad. Monique used to get in on it too. He talks about how Monique used to punch him, slap him, and one time she even choked the boy out. She was telling him stuff like, You are dumb, unattractive, overweight, unworthy, untalented. I hope you take it personally. Whenever you feel like you're not in control or the world is against you, take it personally. Every thought in your mind is dumb. Every word you speak is dumb. Congratulations. Poor old Charlie. Now, a crazy thing is, at some point, he actually wrote a note to the family. The note basically said that he poisoned the family. He was trying to poison the family so they can let him go back home to his mom. Dude. But also, keep that in the back of your mind. We're going to come back to this. Anyway, time moves on and life at home is really just not the best for anybody. Now, in early June, the mom and dad, they're really sick of this boy. And by mom and dad, I mean the dad and the stepmom. There were some text messages that was found between the, these two right here, basically saying they were getting ready to ship him off to boarding school because he was just tired of them. This is somewhere between June the 10th through June the 12th of 2014. June the 14th, he goes missing. Can't nobody find this boy. So this one right here, she gets on the phone. She calls him while he's at work and she's like, hey, I can't find him. He didn't finish his exercise, but I don't know where he's at. So Baffa comes home and he's freaking out, trying to figure out where his son is. Look up, look down, look here, look left, look left. Nobody could find him. They ended up calling the police and they filed a missing persons report. They're going up and down neighborhoods with these missing flyers and handing them door to door, neighbor to neighbor, like, hey, if y'all seen my son, if y'all seen him. The FBI comes through with the K-9 unit and they're searching the house from top to bottom. Nobody can find him. The last person who has seen him at this point was Monique. Now, Baffa, he hasn't given up hope at this point in time. Even though he treated his son like a bag of dirt, that was his son. He loved his boy. So, 11 days after he's reported missing, Baffa the fourth goes on to Nancy Grace to talk and just spread the word about his missing son. But the craziest thing happened. While he was on air, they found his son. Guess where they found him? He was in their basement. Yeah, their basement. 
Now, Nancy Messy Boots Grace, when she found out that what that the son had been found, she aired him out right there on live TV. Out to the father of the missing 12-year-old boy, Charlie. Uh, with me is his father, Charlie Bothell. Charlie, we are getting reports that your son has been found in your basement. Sir, Mr. Bothell, are you? Are what? You, yeah, we are getting reports that your son has been found alive in your basement. What? Yes, that's what. If, if you can hand me that. Did y'all see how guilty that man looked? You remember Phineas and Ferb when uh, Candace was singing that song? It goes B U S T E D. You are busted. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna put the hurt, hurt on, you, on you, but you better, better believe me when I tell you that I finally got, got the dirt, dirt on you, on you busted. busted. On live TV! And y'all, it actually got so much worse. Watch this. The boy has been found alive in daddy's basement. Oh, shit. I have, I have no idea. Sir, did you check your basement? I checked my basement. The FBI checked my basement. The Detroit police checked my basement. My wife checked my basement. Oh, God, my son. Have you checked your cell phone? Um, my cell phone is dead. Um, I, I'm, and I actually getting down here. I left it in the car charging because it, 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 it had, it had, it, um, it had died on me. It's true. Uh, it, it literally Man, what's that? They looking for this boy and the whole time this boy is up in the closet. Well, not the closet. He was in the basement. He was hiding behind like some shelves, a dresser, some boxes and stuff like that. So we don't know why the police didn't find him originally. Now, little Bothell right here was telling everybody that Mother Bothell had told him to get into the, the basement and don't say anything no matter what he hears. He claims that she told him that if she hears the noise, if he says anything, then she knows how to make him disappear and no one's going to look for him. She was also saying things like, I can make you disappear and I know where the knives are. Just stupid stuff. And so little Bothell, he believed it. He said he was scared. So for 11 days, he claims he sat there in that basement and didn't make a word. He also claimed that they barely fed him. If they did feed him, maybe it was like a little protein shake, but he didn't really eat at all either. So he was taken out of their custody, but they were eventually arrested. They had left their house and they were living inside of their business. So for the trial. For whatever reason, this one, the one who put him in the basement, she was actually never arrested for charges as regards to the boy. Only he was arrested. They was arresting him for torture charges. He was facing a life sentence. Now, she was arrested, but it was like she violated probation. Like she bought a gun illegally or something like that. But as it pertains to the boy, nothing. That boy got on stand and said them parents were torturing him, just doing horrible things to him, like all type of stuff. But the defense attacked the boy. They brought up, remember when he ran away that first time and that gray-haired man? It was a lie. Then remember that note that he apparently wrote that said that he poisoned him trying to move back? They brought that back up. But then it came to find out he said that she made him write it. It wasn't his words. What? In the end, they let her go by giving her an ankle bracelet. And he only got 18 months probation. Took a plea deal. He finally took a plea deal because he was like, he's tired of putting his son through this. He was tired of the whole trial. He was running. He ain't had no money left. So he was like, fine, I'll take a plea deal. I'll take probation and for child abuse or whatever. But even though he claimed he didn't do anything. Now, me personally, I don't think that he knew that the son was in the basement. At least at first. Even the boy said that after she put him in the basement, she called him and told him that she didn't know where he was. Which corroborates that he didn't know, at least at first. But I don't know, after 11 days, I would think that he would know something. But I'm not entirely convinced. Also, I'm not entirely convinced that the boy just ain't make the whole story up. I'm sorry, but after going through everything and looking at it, I just don't know. We already know that he lied through his teeth a, a lot. So, I, I look, I don't know. I, hopefully he wasn't, but it is what it is. Anyway, the boys returned to his original mother. The other two kids, which I didn't mention that they had, were separated from them. Crazy, right?